This is to for market at Gerahu Port Mosby, one of the prime locations for the betel nut trade. Vendors from around the city flock here as early as 4 a.m. to get their hands on the best deals. Transactions are facilitated by the suppliers, vendors and owners of the premises. The suppliers are mostly from Gulf and Central Province. Prices range from 30 kina for a 10 kg bag and 150 kina for 50 kg bag. It is the suppliers that pay the owner their cut for use in their premises. The trade is driven by factors like unemployment, which many vendors fall under. Many of the vendors expressed similar concerns on the proposed ban, soon to be effective. <laughs> School fees, house, go to Santine, boy, I got Salina, Plaxi money. Lily money, me like him, the beauty, give me like him, hundred in them. All of them, sixty seven, give me a proverb, me like I tell you. As a mill, so Tim no boy in the hand, I'm not a mister. They want the governor to come up with effective means of assisting them rather than banning their only means of survival. Governor, me like support him, true, true, em like cleaning, most below, boy, I'm me like mass, me like support him, sir. That's all. One plus something in my setting, Pobla, Pobla, Market Lom, Pobla, Pobla, must be. But boy, that's all. Okay, man, you can get boy or you market law, public area. Judge him, him. You judge him, him now. You look at him. Him all about him. The governor has even tried to build specific markets for betel nut selling, but it seems vendors are not listening. Earlier, the governor says excuses will no longer be tolerated. The image of the city has been tarnished for too long with irresponsible behavior from vendors and consumers. The Informal Sector Act is currently under review to deal with this and the uncontrolled boom in the informal sector. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.